everyone. Um, I know you've all been enjoying some of the list workouts that I've put together in the app, which is great. Um, so I thought I'd take you through another list workout today. Um, so it's all about low intensity. We're not trying to push ourselves too hard. We're just working at a constant steady state. And um, so today to just add a slight progression to what we've done, I'm gonna add in some light dumbbells or some light weights. So I'm gonna use two kilos today to try that out and see how that feels. Um, but use whatever weight you feel comfortable with. If you want two small bottles of water, that's fine. If you wanna go for a 3K, 4K, um, but don't go too heavy because we wanna keep it light because we don't wanna feel that we're pushing ourselves or exerting ourselves too much through these sessions. We'll save that for when we're doing the HIIT workouts um, and we're, you know, we're bounding, we're jumping, we're explosive. Um, but for today, it's steady state and we're trying to keep our heart rate at a nice consistent level. Um, so, I mean, if you've got a heart rate monitor, great, but if you haven't, you can just measure it by being able to have a conversation. So you need to be able to have a conversation through all of this workout. You don't wanna feel like you're overly out of breath and that you're working too hard and you wanna be in that steady state. So, um, it's the same premise as the other workouts that I've put together for you in the app, um, the list workouts. We will work through three circuits, but it'll be one continuous circuit. We will have 10 exercises and we'll work for each exercise for 60 seconds um, and then move straight on to the next exercise with no rest in between. Um, so I'll talk to you through the exercises. First of all, we're gonna start with straight arm raises. So with your dumbbells, take your arms out in front of you, back down, nice and straight, and then out to the side. So straight arms in front, back down, and out to the side. The next exercise, we're gonna keep these dumbbells in our hands just to add an extra bit of weight. And we're gonna take a straight leg out to the side and really working this glute and switching that one on. Don't worry about the other side, we'll just focus on this side first or whichever side you want to start on and we will do the opposite side shortly. Okay, then we're gonna take to the floor on our backs, feet planted nicely on the floor and we're just gonna do a nice Dumbbell press. Then back onto our feet and we'll do our other glutes. So taking that straight leg out to the side, activating that glute muscle. Then we'll go into a backwards lunge with both dumbbells in our hands. Taking it back and behind. Then we'll go into a front kick, two punches, front kick, two punches, and keep changing sides with that one. Onto our bums and we'll do Russian twist next. So you can either have your feet planted. Um, if you don't want to take your feet off the floor, you want a bit more stability, keep your feet on the floor, lean back slightly and take your dumbbells to each side. You can use one or both, that's fine. And if you are confident with this exercise, you want to take your feet off the floor, cross them over, have them uh, alongside each other and do the same motion, same range. Okay, then we're gonna go onto our feet and we're gonna do some static running. So nice and strong for our torso, our core, our glutes, our legs, and we're just working and pumping out upper body. That's really good. And then we're gonna go onto a straight, um, so feet straight on, about hip width apart, and you're taking one dumbbell, slide it down towards your knee on the outside of your leg, and then doing the same on the other and back to the middle, that's really good. And then the final exercise is squat, stand and punch. So you're squatting up into standing and punch those dumbbells up into the air. Okay, so those are the exercises that we are doing today and hope you are all feeling comfortable and confident with them. So we will start off with our first exercise and remember all the exercises we're working continuously for 60 seconds for each. Okay guys, let's do this. 10 seconds and we're ready to start with those straight arm raises out in front of us and to the side. Okay, here we go, 60 seconds. So everything today is steady state, nice and <laughs> continuous and consistent. <laughs> That's good. Okay, nice and controlled. Bring them up in front of you back down out to the side. 
Remember, try not to sway too much through your body so you don't want to be swinging and pushing your hips forwards like this. Kind of just keep it all nice and solid. So the main movement is coming from your upper body and your arms. That's good. Coming up to 20 seconds. That's really good. And then we're going to go into that standing straight leg glute raise next. 10 seconds. That's good. Okay, so standing and taking that straight leg out to the side and back to the middle. That's good. So really activating that glute muscle. If you are struggling for balance, then pop your dumbbells down, that's fine, and use something that you can prop your hand on just to give you a little bit more balance and stability. But if you can, keep those dumbbells in your hand, take it out to the side, that's good. That's 30 seconds left, well done. Nice and strong through that standing leg, remember? Well done. Okay, next exercise after this will be our lying down dumbbell press. 10 seconds of activating this glute muscle and then we're onto our backs for dumbbell press. Okay, well done. Okay, onto your back now and let's press those dumbbells up towards the ceiling, making sure that our back is nice and flat against the floor. So try not to feel that arching through your back and keep it nice and flat. Feet planted nicely on the floor as well, flat, and just push those dumbbells up. Drawing those shoulder blades together as you bring the dumbbells down if you can. That's good. Really good. So everything's nice and steady, controlled, consistent today. Don't feel that you have to push yourself, have a conversation if you're doing it with a friend, chat to me if you like, but just make sure you're not exerting yourself too much, it's steady today. Okay, and then up onto your feet and we're going to do our opposite glute to what you've just done. So straight leg and you're taking it out to the side and back towards that standing leg. And you'll really feel that it's starting to activate this muscle here at the top of your glute. That's good. Well done guys. Keep going, feeling that glute activating, that muscle switching on. We're going to go into a backwards lunge after this one. We've got about 20 seconds left. Nice. Last few, make sure that this standing leg is really strong, really solid as well. Don't worry about taking it all the way out here, just a small movement. Okay, well done, so there's backward lunges now. We're taking that foot behind you into a lunge. And always make sure that our knees are in a really good position. Don't let your knees point inwards. Don't let them collapse. Make sure your knees are always pointing forwards. We don't want to put any unnecessary pressure through our knees and through our hips. Keeping our hips nice and level as we lower down and back up again. Good upper body posture as well. That's good. Coming up to 20 seconds left. And then we're going to go into that front kick with that double punch with our dumbbells. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, front kick, double punch, front kick, double punch. That's good. Requires a little bit of coordination this one, but when you've got it, you'll be flying. That's good. Okay, 
Nice. Coming up to halfway through this exercise. Next exercise that's up is our Russian twist. Less than 20 seconds. That's good. Really feel your core working through this exercise as well. Not just your legs and your upper body. Okay, into Russian twist. So onto your bums. Remember, if you want to place your feet down on the floor, that's absolutely fine. So just have them on the floor. Make sure you're leaning back slightly. Engaging that core and just twisting from side to side. Or you can take your feet off the floor and do the same movement. Just really controlling those movements from side to side. That's 30 seconds left. Next up is static running. 20 seconds. That's good. 10 seconds. Really try and challenge yourself rotationally. So going all the way around and back. Well done, up onto our feet. So a static running position. So making sure that your front foot, you're on towards the ball of your foot, and then your back foot, you're kind of towards your toe, so you're pushing through it slightly. But the main movement that we're trying to achieve here is through our arms and our upper body. Try not to be swinging like from side to side or having too much rotation. We're really trying to keep solid through our trunk and keeping that movement going through our arms. That's really good. 25 seconds left. Pump those arms. That's good. 15 seconds. And then we're going to go into that abdominal, side abdominal exercise where we're sliding our arm down the outside of our leg. Okay, five seconds. Two, one. Okay, so we're just taking one dumbbell down the side of our leg and back up into standing. That's good. So really reaching down towards your knee and then using those side abdominal muscles to draw yourself back up into standing, back into that straight position and then back down towards the other side. That's good. Coming up to halfway through this exercise and then we have squat and push to finish the first round of today's workout. That's good. Really draw those stomach muscles in as you're doing this, making sure everything's engaged, everything's switched on and working for you. That's good, 10 seconds. Okay, so squat. And then we're pushing towards the ceiling. Well done. Nice. So good squat position. Make sure your back is nice and flat. No rolling or curving through the base of your back. And then standing and pushing towards the ceiling. That's good. You can go as deep or as shallow as you like with your squat. Just as long as that position is good, nice and controlled. Well done, keep going. Coming up to the last 15 seconds. into those straight arm raises out in front of you and to the side so we're into our second round of 10 now make sure everything's steady everything's consistent nothing is explosive today 
no jumping, no bounding, no burpees, just nice and controlled. Okay, and make sure you're not swinging, so as you're bringing your arms up, make sure you're not using your hips, you're just working through your upper body and your arms, just making sure that they're doing the hard work. That's good, 15 seconds. Nice, 10 seconds guys, that's really good, keep going. Five seconds. Okay, so standing glute, so taking that glute out, or that straight leg out to the side, activating that glute muscle. That's good. Coming up to 40 seconds. It's just a small movement, just activating this glute muscle. Keep the weights in your hands just to give you that extra bit of weight. Nice, good work guys. 25 seconds. Nice and solid through that standing leg, don't forget. Try not to sway too much. It's good, 10 seconds. And then we're onto our backs, those dumbbell presses. Ooh, try not to wobble. <laughs> well done. Okay, onto your back. And pressing those dumbbells up towards the ceiling. Nice flat back on the floor. That's good. 60 seconds of effort here. Good, if you can draw your scapula in as you bring those dumbbells down, so those shoulder blades, then that's great. Activating all those little muscles as well. We're back into standing for our opposite glute muscle after this. Last few seconds. Well done. Okay, onto your feet. So opposite side, taking that leg out and back in. Nice and controlled. If you are wanting to make this slightly harder, you could add in a TheraBand and you tie that around your ankles and then take your leg out and back to the middle. That just adds a little bit more resistance. But for today, this is great. 30 seconds left. That's good. Remember our next exercise is our backwards lunge. Well done. Keep going. 10 seconds. Well done, okay, take yourself into a backwards lunge and back into standing and keep alternating legs, remember, we're not just doing one side, we want to be balanced with everything we're doing today. That's good. Good, and we're working a slightly different part of our glute muscle doing these lunges as to what we've just done doing those straight leg raises to the side. 15 seconds left. Good. Five seconds. Well done. Okay, those kicks, double punch, kick. Double punch. Nice. Make sure that you're keeping those arms up as you punch. So keep them nice and level. 
Don't let them drop too much. Want them right out there. Parallel. That's good. 30 seconds left. Keep punching. That's good. Remember, it's upper body here, working our legs. It's also really challenging our core. Last few seconds and then Russian twists. Well done. Okay, arms on the floor for our Russian twist. 60 seconds. Just taking it from side to side. Really feeling that rotation for your abdominal muscles. That's good. If you want to use both dumbbells, that's fine. If you want to just use one, that's also fine. 30 seconds left. And then we're back on our feet for that running action with our dumbbells or our weights today. 20 seconds. If you want to put your feet down, absolutely fine. Just make sure you have that slight lean back so you're activating those muscles as you do it. Well done. 10 seconds. Well done. Okay, onto our feet. So, Change legs so you've got the opposite leg forward and it's that running motion again, remember? So nice, solid position. Working, pumping those arms. That's good. Really trying to keep that 90 degree angle in your arms so this this angle here, making sure that you've got that really good angle as you're coming forwards and back. Really good movement. And this exercise will help with some of the hip runs that you guys do as well with me. Again, it's challenging our core. That's good, coming to the last 10 seconds. Keep going. Well done. Okay, take your dumbbell down to the side and up into standing. Really good. Down to the side and up to standing. Just to the point where you feel that it's starting to work the sides of your abdominal muscles and then draw them in and use them to bring you back into that straight position. Well done. Thirty seconds left. One more exercise to complete the second round before we go into the third and final round. Fifteen seconds. It's good. Keep going. Well done, okay, squat and punch. Make sure you're not gonna hit anything above you. That's good. So sticking up and out as you go into a squat. Keep that weight through your heels. Push up strong with your glute muscles and punch those arms towards the ceiling. Coming up to halfway through this exercise. Well done, keep going. 10 seconds. That's good. Last one. Well done. Okay, we're taking our straight arms out in front of us and out to the side. This is our third and final round of 10 exercises. The same 10 exercises, you know what's coming up. That's good. Nice controlled breathing for all these exercises. 
If you feel that your heart rate's going up and you're struggling to have a conversation, just slow the pace down a little bit. That's fine. 30 seconds. Nice. See from the side. Nice and controlled. Next exercise is those glute raises. Those standing glute raises. 10 seconds. Well done. Okay, so taking that glute and activating it by taking that straight leg out to the side and back to the middle. If you do want to make it slightly harder, you can take it out at a slight angle behind you. So not that three o'clock position, but take it to kind of like a four or five o'clock position here. So if this was 12, you're taking it around to about four o'clock position and that just activates it in a slightly different way. Or you can stay at three o'clock here as well. That's absolutely fine. 20 seconds left. That's good. That's really good. Keep going. Okay, next up, we're lying on our backs in five seconds for dumbbell press. Well done. Okay, onto your back. And let's press those dumbbells into the ceiling. Keeping that back flat as we always have. That's good. Only a few more exercises left. Keep going. That's good. Don't stop. Keep going. Okay, onto your feet and let's do that other glute muscle. Let's take it out to the side. Those little muscles are probably starting to fatigue a little bit, but that's fine. Just try and keep that range of movement. It's only a small movement and keep that focus. So keep solid through your core, solid through that standing leg. That's good. 35 seconds left. Nice. Remember, if you want to take it to that slight angle slightly behind you, that's fine as well. It's just activating that glute in a slightly different way. 14 seconds left. And then remember, backwards lunge up next. Three, two, one. Okay, into that backwards lunge position. Nice. Remember, try and keep those hips level as you're going down. It's good. Five more exercises left after this one. Thirty seconds. seconds. That's good guys. Ten seconds. Keep going, keeping those knees going forwards. Don't let them collapse in as you get tired. Okay, well done. So it's that front kick, two punches and change size. That's really good. And keep those toes pointing up towards the ceiling 
as you kick. Try not to let them point out too much. That's really good. 30 seconds left. Okay, we've got Russian twist after this one. Have too much sway for your body. Nice and strong, pumping those arms. That's good. Coming up to 30 seconds left and we've got two more exercises to finish this session today. You're doing great. 25 seconds. Keep pumping those arms. today's session of 30 minutes of continuous work. That's really great work guys. All steady, but all really, really good stuff. Okay, keep going. Less than 30 seconds of this exercise. That's it, reaching down your side, drawing those side abdominals up as you come into straight position. Good. Three seconds. Okay, so squat, stand in and press. That's good. Last exercise. Really good. So take that squat into a comfortable position where you feel that you're testing yourself slightly and then come into standing and press those dumbbells up above your head. 30 seconds left. Make sure you have a quick stretch after that session. 
Make sure you stretch into your hips. Always great to stretch into your hip flexors. So on the floor, just making sure that you're pushing, pushing your hips forwards and stretching into those little grippy muscles here that often work quite hard. Um, and yeah, there's loads more stretches within the app and um, the cool down section if you want to head over there and see some of those. But well done for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.